Welcome to the WHHI TV Daily News. I'm Betsy McDaniel. Of course, there's a lot to cover in the Low Country today, but we're going to get started with some election results. It did turn out to be a big day for Republicans and incumbents on Election Day on a national scale, but also statewide and locally. For the first time in nearly a century, a former president regained the White House after having lost it. Donald Trump has beaten Kamala Harris to be re-elected president, winning South Carolina statewide by an even wider margin than he won Beaufort County, taking the statewide vote 58 to 40 percent over Harris. The margin locally was about a 57 to 42. Nancy Mace was re-elected to a third term in the U.S. House with about a 60-40 margin over Michael B. Moore in both the county and district-wide. As earlier mentioned, it was a huge night for incumbents in the area. In the state Senate races, Tom Davis won re-election by a 2-to-1 margin, Chip Campson won by 60-40, and Margie Bright Matthews ran unopposed. In the state House races, the closest anyone came to an upset was Lizette Cifaldi's 40% vote against Jeff Bradley. Bill Herb, Herb Gersman and Weston Newton were winners by 2-to-1. Bill Hager and Michael Rivers were also re-elected. Beaver County government is unchanged for at least the next two years, with Logan Cunningham a 2-to-1 winner, Gerald Dawson nearly a 60-40 winner, and York Glover winning unopposed. In the city of Beaufort, Phil Cromer was re-elected mayor by a 15-point margin over Josh Scaletti. In the four-person race for two city council seats, incumbent Mitch Mitchell got 29% of the vote and incumbent Neil Lipsitz had 26%. Challenger Julie Crenshaw finished with 23% and Josh Gibson had 21% of the vote. On Hilton Head Island, town council will change because of two resignations. Former councilor Steve DeSimone was a 60-40 winner over Amy Fee, and Melinda Tunner won a three-way race in Ward 6 with 55%, easily beating Rex Garnowitz and Paige Cope. Alex Brown was re-elected in Ward 1 by a 2-to-1 margin. There was one local incumbent who lost. Jasper County Sheriff Donald Hipp was beaten by former Sheriff Chris Malfras by a 51-49 margin, which equals about 500 votes. It was also not a good night for the penny sales tax referendum in Beaufort County as it went down by 10 points. Turnout was solid at about 75% countywide. In a couple of other local news stories, a hotly debated new hotel and parking garage for downtown Beaufort might be a step closer to reality, but maybe a bit more slowly than originally thought. The State Court of Appeals upheld the City of Beaufort's approval of Dick Stewart's proposal to build a new hotel in downtown Beaufort, but Stewart says he can't go full speed ahead because of the increase in the price of the project caused by all of the court delays. Lawsuits by the historic Beaufort Foundation and Stewart rival Graham Trask have upheld decisions from the City of Beaufort as far back as 2021. Stewart is now suing Trask for $120 million in damages, some for the increased costs of delayed construction. And while you might not have known Gary Pratt personally, you probably knew and heard his sweet music in the Low Country. Sadly, Pratt has died after an 18-month battle with ALS. For years and years, he performed at all the local hangouts with bands like JoJo Squirrel and the Home Pickles and Low Country Boyle. He could play multiple instruments and had a wide vocal range. In recent years, he also led the worship services at Hilton Head Island Community Church. He leaves behind a wife and two musically inclined teenage daughters and a following that will never forget his music. The media sources on your screen will have more on these and other stories, and we would love for you to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at WHHITV. And if you, find it, if you have an idea for a news story, we'd love to hear it, so drop us a line at news at WHHITV.com. And now let's find out what's going to happen in the weather with our Low Country Crawl Spaces weather report with Maria Soden. Thanks, Betsy. Yep, so taking a look ahead, it does look like after that long dry spell we've been having over the last few weeks, we are going to be seeing quite a bit of rain throughout the next couple of days, but it should be clearing up by the weekend. So taking a look at Thursday, it's going to be cloudy and humid with scattered showers and heavy thunderstorms throughout the day and going into the evening. Hillen is going to a high of 77, a low of 71, and then Bluffton and Buford are going to high of 78, a low of 71. The sunrise for Thursday is going to be at 645 and sunsets going to be at 528. Taking a look at the tides, low tides will be at 729 a.m. and high tides will be at 101 p.m.
Taking a look into the rest of the week and into the weekend. Friday, we're going to see scattered showers throughout the day, but those should be clearing up by the evening. Highs are mean the upper 70s, lows are mean the upper 60s. Then come Saturday, it's going to be humid with some sun, and then it's going to turn more cloudy into the afternoon and into the evening. Highs are mean the mid 70s, lows are mean the upper 60s. And then come Sunday, it's going to be sunny to partly cloudy with increasing clouds into the afternoon and the evening. Highs are mean the mid 70s, lows are going to be in the mid 60s. That's it for your Low Country Crawl Spaces weather. Let's hit it back to the desk. Thanks, Maria. There's much more to come after a quick break, so stay tuned.